Hello guys, this is Dr. Asif Ali. In this video tutorial, we will be talking about the production of AD vector for yeast to hybrid assay that is used to confirm the two protein interactions. In this video, we will make activation domain vector that usually need four things. AD vector, gene construct, clone express buffer and DD water. All these are mixed up to 10 UL. We will be using our ready cleave gene and vector for this experiment. We will add 5 UL of water, 1.5 UL of gene construct and 3.5 UL of clone express to make the 10 UL of total. PCR products can be incubated at 50 degrees Celsius up to 5 minutes in PCR. This PCR product will be further transferred to DH5-alpha so we will take out from minus 80 degrees Celsius so that it can be converted into liquid state as it is in ice form. We can transfer the PCR product into DH5-alpha when it completely melts into water. We will heat a water tub up to 42 degrees Celsius. We need to give a quick heat shock at 42 degrees Celsius in hot tub and then again transfer it to ice. After that we can take it to sterile room for further inoculation. We can transfer the LB media to these recombinant PCR products. We need sterile environment in order to avoid contaminations and we need to transfer 700 of LB media to the transfer so product. <laughs> we should be careful while taking LB so that the wall tips cannot touch. After transferring the 700 of LB media, we need to seal it tightly so that air cannot contaminate. Similarly, we can transfer all the samples in this way. And after transferring of LB media, we can seal it tightly with the tape. After sealing, we need to put them on the stirrer at 37 degrees celsius we need to transfer the pcr product and dh5 alpha on stirrer for 40 minutes and after that we can remove and centrifuge centrifugation up to five minutes is okay we should be able to see the palette of PCR product and DH5-alpha that is in white color we can see in next picture clearly here palette is visible at the bottom half of the LB media we should remove and discard and the remaining 300 LB media containing PCR product and DH5-alpha we can separate on petri dishes. We should sterilize before it's spreading in order to avoid contamination and we should use slow speed in order to avoid damage to the LB media and after that we can seal it tightly with the tape
similarly we can do all here I am fast forwarding a video in order to avoid wastage of time we can put the, all the battery dishes at 37 degrees celsius for overnight and in the morning we can see the positive colonies by PCR test and all the positive colonies are AD vector if you like the video please subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching